This weight loss program is made possible by Fusible Asian Grilled Sushi. Driver at Academy, where your safety begins. Anderson Automatic, Heating and Cooling. Malayli's Detail Specialist. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. And Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Making the decision to purchase a new car is an easy one, but deciding on which car to buy and who to buy from can leave you feeling overwhelmed. Simplify your options by choosing Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Since 2014, Joseph Toyota has been named number one in customer satisfaction in the tri-state area. When you make the decision to shop Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati, you won't leave disappointed. It's our goal to have each customer who enters our dealership leave with a smile. Experience it for yourself. Stop into Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati today. the final week of OHSAA regular season football. Tonight is senior night on the campus of Northwest High School. I'm Jake Williams and along with my partner, partner Mitch Mays and all the fine resources of the WCM Waycross Community Media, it's time to pull up a chair and batten down the hatches as the Harrison Wildcats come in against the Northwest Knights with, I guess, according to experts, if they win, they're in the playoffs. Now the senior class that Coach Lee Johnson submits for your approval played with distinction and valor over the years. A victory tonight for the Knights would go a long way to putting some of those hard days from earlier this season in the rearview mirror. The Wildcats usually show up, so I expect a backyard cloud nine clash between these conference rivals, Mitch. Yeah, and Jake, what can you say? On senior nights, like you said, you're going to have to lay it all on the line, and these guys are hoping to go out winners tonight. And for Harrison, you said it. If they win, if they win, they're in. So what more uh, could be on the line than a, a playoff spot for the Harrison? Now, before we go too far, we see they're getting ready to get this game underway. Tonight's officials I want to address, the referee is Ronnie Rocker. The umpire, Stanley Williams. Line judge, Rob Lambert. The linesman, Dallas Coleman. And the back judge, Russ Newsom. Special congratulations to Ronnie Rocker. This is his last game as an OHSAA official tonight. So we'll have to see that he brings his A game. I'm sure both teams are hoping for that. So we see the Northwest, uh, excuse me, the Harrison Wildcats getting ready to kick this ball off. Knights will be receiving. See who's got back there receiving this ball for the Knights. And the kick is off, and this game is underway. Hauled in at the 15-yard line. This guy comes to the near sideline, waves the guy off, and he's making it up the street to about the 37-yard line to get this game underway for the home team. Yeah, that was a nice little return right there from uh, uh, Loveless right there. You know, the guy's a pretty good field position right there for the uh, Knights. So hopefully, you know, the last time we seen the Northwest Knights, they was kind of stumbling a little bit, a bit against the My Healthy Isles. But uh, hopefully, you know, things will go a little bit better to get their offense in gear and, and, and maybe move the ball up and down the field tonight. Okay, so we see uh, senior Damon Cherry under center. His first play from scrimmage here for the Knights. Like you say, Mitch, they got erased that result that we saw them last with. Here's a give, round left in, but we got Wildcats all over the place. Yeah, it looked like he got a gain of two yards right there. It looks like uh, 
Harrison has about seven or eight guys up in the box, and you think uh, Northwest might be able to get some early run yards against this team, but not, not for nothing right there. Ball play squarely on the 37-yard line. Will they get two on that play, Jake? Well, hopefully they can get their running game and their passing game going tonight. I know a couple weeks ago, neither was working, so uh, hopefully they can get in gear today. Well, they still got the rain they've had a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Can't get around this rain. There's a flag is thrown. Legal procedure against the uh, Northwest Knights. So the Knights will hunt on this ball, be put in gear from their own 32-yard uh, line now, or to be second and 14. See these Knights seniors, this will be their last game, and they know it since they don't have any playoff dream this year. There's a snap, there's a give. But we got again Harrison Wildcats in the Northwest Knight backfield. Great penetration right there from Harrison, Jake. Like you said, they're in every gap, staying in their lanes and, and just coming up the field. So was, I've seen a lot of, you know, interesting games between these two opponents over the years. No matter what's riding on this game, these guys play hard against each other. Well, like you said, Jake, Harrison's got a lot to play for. Like you said, according to the expert, if they win, they're in. So, you know, they, they ain't going to turn. Uh, all the stones are going to be unturned tonight. Man in motion. Give to the man in motion. He's around right in. He looks like he's got a block. But, again, the speed of the Harrison defense catches up to him. You see on the uh, – Foosable Asian Grill Sushi Sushi Instant Replay. This man beats these guys to the corner. Well, you seen that right there, Jake. It was a, a little jet sweep right around the right end, but it was nothing doing Harrison staying at home. So it's going to bring it to 4th and 11. Hill, nice kick. Touches up on the 33, and it takes a night roll, and it's going to lay up on the 20-yard uh, line. Good field, good field change over right there, Jake. Nice little punt for Northwest, you know, putting Harrison back at their own 20. Noah Hill on senior night, sticking his foot into the wind. You see the flag in the end zone just slightly flapping. It's going to be no factor. Looks like we got trips right right here for Jake, for Harrison right here, Jake. Uh, got one-on-one -on -one coverage out there for Northwest. Here's Harrison's give to their workhorse. That's number 32 with the ball for Harrison. Carl Herring. Sophomore running back, tackled by Isri Julius there. You see on the... You know, the, the big fella's all fired up. This is his senior night. So, you know, he came to play tonight, Jake. Uh, oh, Oaks. nice jump, nullifying the impact of that first down sack. Give it, ball. take it away. That's right, so it's going to make this into a second and five. Looks like we got the double slot right here, Jake, from Harrison. You got it. You got it. Out in the flat, this ball is caught, but oh, very little yardage. Oh, Northwest defenders shove him out of bounds there. Oh, you see right there, quick, quick pass to the slot guy right there. Went for not, Jake. I mean, it was great coverage right there for uh, Northwest. Uh, what I was told in my conversation on the field before the game is uh, 
Look for Harrison to get his ball to uh, number 32 quite a bit. Just Carl Herring, sophomore running back. He seems like uh, he's got the potential to be the future around there. Harrison Wildcat offense. Hard count. Heads it off, but Northwest Knight defenders are there. Picked up a hard couple yards, but looks like the sticks are gonna be short of first down yardage. We see on the fusible Asian grill and sushi hits the replay that uh, this guy stuck his nose in there, but. That, that was great pen, uh, penetration from uh, Petway. The senior uh, top defensive end got great penetration, came up and made a great stop in the hole. So who we got back here to see this punt for the Knights? This kick is up, it's high. Touches and he takes a night bounce and is rolling all the way back to the uh, 40 yard line of the Harrison Wildcats. I know Julius, the, the big senior defensive end, almost thought about picking that up and taking it to the house, but he thought he thought twice about it. Just in time to spread the five hole out and let it skip on through. Well, at least he would have had something to tell his grandkids, JK. I, I took an unsuspected punt. Nobody thought I was going to get it, and I took it to the house. I took one for the team. Damon Cherry under center. Man in motion. Give first guy through and nothing. No gain on the play. No gain on the play. Looks like he got maybe one yard out of that, Jake. Looks like early in uh, both teams' possession, Jake, they just filling one another out. No, nobody seems to want to open it up. It's like a, 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 a punching match going on right here, filling each other out, Jake. Well, they're going to have to make up their mind of what their identity is. It's, we're not here for no foreplay. We're here for a game and start hitting. It's done in reverse in the backfield. The ball's on the floor. Harrison Wildcats, they have that recovery. So now it's one step forward, two steps back with 6.56 left to go in the Joseph Toyota first quarter. Well, it looked like uh, Northwest tried to come with a, a, a nice little counter trap right there and one too many people handling the football, and that's what happens sometimes, Jake. When you get two or three people handling the football on the possession, that happens. Big opportunity right here for Harrison. Harrison with the ball. With trips right. Got Under single coverage on the other outside. Great drop. This ball's thrown down the near sideline. Oh, nice play, play on defense for the Knights. Number 13, Julian Cornwall. Defense to that pass we see on the uh, fusible Asian grill. Sushi gets the replay there that, you know, he got that left hand and fully extended, bat that ball away. Great defensive play right there from Cornwell Jacobs. Had that receiver caught the ball, he was taking it to the house. So we see so far a lot of good night uh, senior play in this game so far. Israel Julius started the game on defense with a sack. So second and long right here for Harrison. We come in with trip right close to us, Jake. Great drop. He's being Good rushed. Pressure. He's rushed on. Now he's running for what he can get. He's crossed midfield and run out of bounds near the night 41 yard line. You see on the fusible Asian Greek grill and sushi replay, instant replay, that this is a guy that knows that everybody cleared out, so I might as well take these yards. Yeah, that was a great, uh, great decision by Kenneth. Looked down the field, the primary receiver wasn't open and uh, he had a lot of uh, daylight in front of him. Here we go. Throwing his ball in the left flat, it's received and now he's trying to pick his way through traffic but plenty of defenders there for the Knights. Maybe about a five yard pickup. I like what they're doing, Jake. They're hitting a lot of quick passes right here. You know, this is a, a a, a good supplement for the run game. Get the get the ball on the edges for the for the skill guys. 
6.15 left to go in the Joseph Toyota first quarter. Ball on the night, 36 yard line. Second and five. Looks like the handoff. No, it's going to throw this ball on the left flat again complete. He's around a couple of tacklers and he's got first down yardage. He's not hauled down until he gets about the 16 yard line. There's a Jack Feet. I tell you, uh, once again, this is a, 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 a version of the quick running game. Just these quick passes out on the edges, Jake, and uh, Northway, North, Northwest unable to stop them. So, hey, you might as well keep doing what's working right now. That's correct. You know, you find something that works and keep doing it until they stop it. Yes, sir, Reed. Night defense back on their heels now. A little bit in the shadow of their goal line. There's a give to 32, and he makes a man miss in the backfield, muscles his way for about a five yard pickup down near the 10 yard line. You know, right there, Carl just put his uh, shoulder pass down, Jake, and, and, and got about a six or seven yard gain right there. Yeah, I could look at him and see uh, what the uproar was about in conversations about him before the game. He looks like, uh, again, he's a sophomore there, Mitch. Well, you got to be awful happy with that with Harrison, with a sophomore picking up nice yards like that. Great defense on the edge right there from Northwest. Northwest stretched that out, and he didn't have anywhere to go after a while. So it's going to make it third down. Three on the play. Third and five. Third down and five. Connor Kinnett, the quarterback for the Wildcats. Show me already that he knows what to do with the ball if he has to run. Well, and, and one of the things, Kinnett's a pretty big size quarterback, 6'3", a junior. So you know he'll be returning next year. So, uh, hey, so 427 left to go. Kinnett waiting for the snap. Straight drop, looking to throw this ball. Nobody's, Nobody's open. open. He throws his ball, but it's batted down. By the night defender there, number 33 on defense for the night. Well, one of the things I always say, if you can't get there, put your hands up. And that's what the night defender did right in the passing lane of Connect and uh, was able to bat the ball down, Jake. That was uh, Jaheim Car uh, Cherry on the, you see on the replay here, that Cherry just jumps up in there and we have the Knights, uh, excuse me, the Wildcats trying to field goal here. Hold is down, kick is up, and that looks to be good from here. So that kick is good. So with 4.13 left to go in the first quarter here from the Fred Hunt press box. I, above John Cyward Field, we have a score to visiting Harrison Wildcats, three, and the Northwest Knights, nothing. Well, well, that was a win right there for Northwest. If you had to give up anything, just, you know, to give up the field goal, you know, so you got to get your hats off to the defense right there, Jack. Their back was against the wall, and they held right there. So, hey, to give up three right there, kudos out there to Northwest. That's right. So, you know, we got other games in the area tonight. Mitch, you got your telephone telling us what's going on in these other. Got it handy. You know, you got the big, the big showdown going over there in, uh, uh, over in St. Bernard with Roger Bacon going up against Purcell. Anytime those two right there go together, hey, it's going to be tough. That's a, that's a backyard brawl right there. They hate each other. It's always good fuel for the fire in this sport. Come the Wildcats to kick off. Looks like number 13, Kyle Far Farming. And this kick is gonna roll out of bounds 
at about the night 30 yard line. Sorted out, we're going to get this ball in gear. The Knights offense takes the field. Cherry, this is his final game for the Knights. And I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. Man in motion. Cherry's got this ball handed off to him, and he runs two tacklers, and he's around right in. And he's going down the street to where guys is going to have to do all they can to get him shoved out of bounds down on the Wildcat, what, 28-yard line. First down, no flags. No flags. Nice little run right there from Cherry right off of, out on the outside tackle and took it up for a nice little 40, 50-yard gain. Our camera crew, there's a beautiful replay with guys on camera. It's going to be first and 10. This ball's on the 27 yard line. Fake. Or there's like a. Looked like they just hiked it to the uh, running back, uh, Bobby Green, and he picked up about seven yards, Jake. Uh, Green, you know, he wants the ball. So there's no trying to juke a drive. Just stick your nose in there and get that seven yards. And after one. In one quarter right now, Jake, the Winwoods Warriors is up seven to nothing on Moeller. Okay. There's a keeper and fake the toss to Cherry, and anything you do Cherry's way, the uh, defense has to respect. See on the fusible Asian grill and sushi hits a replay that you know this guy sticks his nose in there and gets the six or seven yards. And, well, well, Jake, you've seen on the last few plays, they've been running more like the Wildcat, hiking it to the up back and hiking it to the, the guy in motion. So uh look, look like something must be wrong with Cherry because you want your best athlete to handle the football. For some reason, Cherry hasn't been handling it. Well, Cherry's got a ball this time, but Wildcats are in the backfield converging on him. So it'll be a loss of about three. You know, so on that play right there, Loveless took the snap and handed it off to Cherry. So... Uh, you know, it looks like we got a lot of wildcat formation going on right now for Northwest. We got a Northwest Knight down on the field. Can't tell who it is. 2.50 left to go here in the Joseph Toyota first quarter. It's number 12. Cameron Good is number 12. Yeah, so this is the last week of the regular season. Just about every game this year, I was reading in the paper somewhere, they were saying how it rained. Just about every game this year. Yeah, well, they was expecting some, some, some rain tonight, so I don't know how we could have got away from that. But this is the time of year, though, Jake, when you expect the, the elements to uh, play, play a, a pivotal role in these football games. So in the playoffs, I'm thinking the playoffs are going to go through the rain. Well, you, you know, in one of the playoffs is, uh, that you might be looking at, I don't know if St. X has a chance to get in, but, you know, you're looking at a Division One game with Cole Rain maybe versus the number eight seed if St. X gets in. So, wow, it's going to be a tough draw right there for Cole Rain. Well, I'm sure that uh, St. X is going to make sure they do all they can. But it, it's that it, – it's going to take a lot for St. X to get in the playoffs. So it looks like we got that injured uh, Northwest Knight up and off the field under his own power. That's uh, Cam Good. Cam Good, he's a veteran of the uh, no birth certificate barred in Elixir Bowls over the years. Spoke to his father earlier in the season during practice at two days and He's uh, got high hopes for this young son of his, Cam Good. So 
Oh, the Knights offense back over the ball. There's a direct snap and his ball. The Knights are getting cute with this ball. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the Knights are running a lot of wildcat formation, direct, direct snaps to the running back. And it doesn't seem like Cherry is really handling the ball. Yeah, it looks right like now. they want Cherry out there to give the defense something to think about, but it doesn't look like, like you say, Mitch, could have a weak limb or something. But he looked good on that long run. What was that, about a 50-some yard run he had a little bit ago? Yes, he did. So Cherry's gonna be under center this time. Man in motion. He fakes the give and he's around left end and he's got an avenue. If he could beat this guy, he's in the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown on the play. Nice little bootleg right there. And Cherry got around the corner, Jake, for a touchdown. I'm telling you, I think Cherry might have been playing a little bit possum, putting yep. the wrong idea in the Wildcats' head that he had some hitch in his giddy up. But yes, he did. You know, you, you see right there on the replay, Jake, nice little bootleg right there. Uh, Cherry just got around the corner and took it right into the end zone. So the Northwest Knights line up for this point after. This bad is Wilsbach, bad snap, the hole was down. Melanie Wilsbach, Melanie Wilsbach converts that point seven. after. So at the, with 141 left to go in the first quarter here, we have a score to Northwest Knights seven and the Harrison Wildcats three. See right see. like there, a bootleg right there, Jack. Jack, and he just got the edge and just outran everyone. Yep. That's the guy that knows the angles. He knew the angles and the speed, and there was no way he was going to stop that. See on the fusible Asian grill and sushi hits and replay that uh, this is the guy you want with the ball. Yeah, and you see they're doing a lot of mixing it up right now. They're handing it off to Cherry. They're, they're, you know, they're mixing up with some Wildcat in there. So they're really trying to keep Harrison off balance right now, mixing up their plays very well. It's good to see uh, their place kicker, Melanie Wilspock, convert. We saw the Mount Healthy game where I think uh, Melanie, nobody in that game converted a PAT or a two-point conversion. So she's got this game off on a good foot on senior night. Noah Hill about to step into this thing, kicking it off for the Northwest Knights, and here we go. Through the hands of a receiver, it's picked up on the five. And they're gonna have this guy ch chased out of bounds with, uh, that was a clothesline, and I see Harrison Wildcats converging down there like it's about to scrap. You know, that was a game, that was a play that uh, back in the day we'd have been proud of. That was a Jack Tatum tackle there, Mitch. Yeah, I mean, you know why a lot of people are shocked, you just don't see that many tackles like that these days. I don't think the kid really did anything intentionally. So, you know, I hope the officials uh, use the better judgment to not kick this young man out of the football game. Personal foul on Northwest. Let's see on the Fusible Asian Grill. Sushi is a replay here where here it comes. Hey, low bridge warning clearance. You don't have enough. So that was, uh, I don't hate to enjoy that, but you haven't seen that kind of work since a long time, especially in a high school game. That player's been injected there. Uh, that's uh, number 42 that they says no more of that stuff. That's uh, Dejon Jackson, six foot, 212, 210 pound senior. So he's getting ejected from this game on senior night, but I will say he got his money's worth. Yeah, well, I mean, I really hate to see that for a guy on senior night get kicked out. I don't really think it was an, uh, an intentional tackle like that, but I. 
I mean, it, it, the, I think the crowd maybe overreact, but you know, that's just old fashioned football, Jake. I mean, right. we used to seeing the Jack Tatums and you know the Atwaters and those guys hit like that, but. There's a given, this guy number 32, he's through a whole host of defenders and man, I'm telling you, they're gonna have to watch out for this guy, Carl Harry. Wow. Yeah, they had that nice kick and now they let it get away. Wildcats have a free field position in the Northwest Territory on the 40 yard line. Yeah, you know, one of the things I really like to see taken out of football is that, you know, kids are getting kicked out at all levels. They're getting kicked out at the college level. And now it's now it's trickling down to the high school level. And I think officials got to, they got to take the emotions out of it. I don't think the kid deserved to get kicked out of this game. You know, it's like, so we got 1.15 left to go on the, Joseph Toyota first quarter. Back to pass, this ball is caught. And in the end zone for Harrison Wildcats, touchdown. There's a flag on the play late. There is a penalty flag on the field. But it's in the neighborhood where it'll probably be against Northwest. You see on the Fusible Asian Grill and Sushi instant replay. Okay, so a little bit of celebration. We see it starting to rain up the storm. See on this replay there, that it's heaved this ball. And uh, good catch. You know, yeah. it's unsportsmanlike, but does the touchdown stand, Jay? It was after the touchdown. So it has to stand. Are you gonna? Yeah. yeah. So with... Uh, 106 left to go in the Joseph Toyota first quarter. Pending the outcome of this PAT, we have a score of uh, the Harrison Knights nine. Excuse me, the Harrison Wildcats nine. And the Northwest Knights seven. So we got ourselves the formula for a good game, looks like. Because will be assessed on the kickoff, apparently. So that should give, if they're going to assess this unsportsmanlike on the kickoff, that should give the Knights start a good field position. Or maybe if uh, uh, number 13, Kyle Ferry, is going to be the kicker for the Wildcats. Holds down, there's a kick, and the kick is good. Commercial attempt is successful. So, Northwest Knights, special team, prepares to get, take the field, respond to this touchdown by the Wildcats. Yeah, you know, both teams answered right after the bell, Jake. The, you know, both teams got a touchdown after a little adversity. So right now, we're really going to see what Northwest is made out of after facing a little adversity. That's right. My guess is they're made out of some stuff, some yeah, right stuff. And, and and one of the things you have to do, you have to sometimes you have to take the emotions out of the game. And, 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 and remember, this is just a kid's game. I don't think any kid out there goes out to intentionally hurt anybody. So, you know, to throw that young man out of this football game is something that, you know, OSHA's going to have to really think a part of and take a look at. We'll have to get uh, Nick Saban up here to look at this young man if he plays that tough. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Saban probably has no problem with that play. No, that's just old-fashioned football. That used to be a legal tackle back in our day, Jay. Oh, yeah. So this is going to set the Knights up with great field position. Uh, Wildcats will be stepping into this ball from their own 25-yard line here. This ball is whistled, ready to be put in play. We know it's not going to be an onside kick. So, ball's picked up. 
30-yard line. He's got, it's going to be trouble for him. He gets around his he hand. He gets through this tack or block. He's still got a nice return. Got late blocks. This game is starting to get a little bit chippy here. Well, that's number nine on the return. Isaiah Loveless, senior night, giving a good account of himself. Night offense to put this thing in gear on their own. It's like 47-yard line. On a replay, nice uh, waved him off with that stiff arm. And so here's the Knights. Looks like they got this Wildcat formation again. This ball's out on the floor. Yeah, and, and, and with, with the elements coming down like that, Jake, you kind of really got to take a hard look at, uh, you know, all these different players handling the football. So, uh, you know, that, that could come back to haunt you in this game. You know, I, I know you want to – Try to uh, keep Harrison off balance, but hey, you know, these uh, trick plays and wildcats, they can really come back to haunt you. Okay, so the uh, Knights break the huddle on this second down and 14 here. Man in motion. Give to Cherry, and he can't get anything on this play. The old Harrison defense closed that thing off. See on the fusible Asian grill and sushi hits and replay here. He has a cherry, but cherry tries to do that pop cut, but nothing doing. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult for Northwest to kind of run on them. They put an eight, seven, eight guys in the box. Northwest is gonna to have to maybe try to throw the football, you know, because they, they're, they're not worried about Northwest's passing game as, as of right now. So that's the end of the first quarter here. The Joseph Toyota first quarter from the Fred Hunt press block high above the playing surface at John Cyward Field. We have a score of the Harrison Wildcats 10 and your Northwest Knights 7. You say uh, Wynn Woods was winning their game? Yes, sir. Wynn Woods, last I checked, was up 7 to nothing. I see we we'll go uh, Coach Dre's in the running for Coach of the Year against some of these other coaches. And well, and, and right now, as I just checked, it's seven to two. So Moeller must have got a safety on the okay. on, on, on the Warriors. It's a good little baseball score right there, Jake. Seven to two. Uh huh. Well, I'll tell you, speaking of baseball, I seen uh, this guy from Cincinnati, Andrew Benintendi, make that catch against the scoreboard last night or a couple nights ago, whatever that was. Yeah, One of the he, best catches I ever saw in my life. Yeah, he's some kind of athlete out there right now. Okay, so now, the, you know, Knights, now they got Cherry under center. He fakes the gift to the man in motion. Now he's going to try to run for it, but the Knights saw, excuse me, the Wildcats had too many spies on them that time. Yeah, and, and they have to keep Harrison honest. Harrison is putting seven, eight guys in the box. They're daring Northwest to throw the football. On this replay, you know, Cherry is going to, you know, I don't know what the story is. If this is wrinkle they put in for this game, well, they're just pulling out all the trick plays. A nice senior night. Why not let the guys have fun? So Noah Hill back here to step into us. And again, he's got this toe going on. Going to take a night roll, and it's going to go all the way down to about the 18-yard line of the Harrison Wildcats where they'll put it in gear. 18-yard line will be first and 10 for Harrison. This guy, uh, Noah Hill, he's to progressed a lot this year with that toe. You know, he's a senior, but, uh, you know, when you see a big guy like that kicking, it reminds me of the old days. You probably never remember this guy named Lou Groza who played for the Browns. No, nah, I don't remember that, but I do remember the old half shoes they used to wear back in the old days. <laughs> Where now they, they got dress shoes like that. Yeah. <laughs> It's a toss around the jet sweep and steps around the guy and they finally get him knocked out of bounds there in the far sideline. 
you know, and that's a nice little completion right there. And, and you know, it's a nice little safe touch pass right there for uh, Harrison. Start to see a lot of people do that at the collegiate level and at the pro level, the little tap passes. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> I yeah. work. You know, and, I, and that's today's game. Everybody's running the spread offense, you know, and uh, – Northwest calls a timeout with 11.06 left to go in the second quarter here. Got a score of uh, Harrison Wildcats 10, Northwest Knights 7. So Mitch, uh, what's your story on the football scene this coming week? Well, Jake, I, you know I have to get Jake's pick. And so, you know I'm starting out with my Cincinnati Bengals. Which way are you rolling this week with the Bengals? After we gave one up to Pittsburgh, we went up to Kansas City and didn't quite get out of the hotel and took it on the chin. Yeah, so, one of the times you guys spent whining about that call, you didn't get the Pittsburgh game. You should have been getting ready for Kansas City. But for this week, the Browns and the Steelers play to see if they can keep from tying again. Well, you know, I haven't heard if uh, Le'Veon Bale's back or not, but, uh, you know, the Steelers, they keep they keep on pressing along. So, no gain on the play. It's going to be third down for... Uh, so, so, we got Jake's Ohio pick in the NFL. Now, who are you picking in the Ohio State game? Or? Man, Ohio State coming off of that. Debacle. I went to sleep thinking they'd win, and I didn't find out till Monday that they lost. <laughs> <laughs> so Wildcats got trips, trips left. Close to us, Jake. Oh, and oh, and they hard count tonight. Oh, defense giving the jump. Stop it. 10-24 left in the half. Offsides, defense. That'll be a five-yard penalty, and will result in a first down for Harrison. I tell you what, the uh, Rams are playing against uh, Aaron Rodgers, and I'm hoping Aaron Rodgers can beat them. Well, the Ram it depends on where you're playing them at, Jake. I mean, the Rams are undefeated, the only undefeated team in the NFL. So don't know that matters to Aaron Rodgers. I Rogers. mean, and, and no, right there, the, you know, a little option to the short side of the football right there, football field in Northwest. Good defense out there from Northwest. See on the replay here, it's that pitch. I mean, it's rain. Diego Neri, nice tackle. Rudely knocks this guy out of bounds. Carl Herring, though, you can see why that he is looked upon with so much favor by the people in the uh, Harrison uh, nation. Gannett drops back from the shotgun, steps in the pocket. It's a long throw. Got him open. He's got oh. number 15 right through his hands. That's C.J. Uh, C.J. Young. You know, that was a good pass right there from Gannett. I thought the receiver slowed down just a little bit, but unfortunately he wasn't able to hold on to the pass. Yeah, I mean, he had steps on this guy. Yes, he did. He's a junior wide receiver. I know he's going to be thinking about that all week. Isaiah Loveless, he's been at both ends of the spectrum tonight for the while. Uh, excuse me, the Knights. Yeah, so that, that young man just got to definitely forget about that one and get on to the next play. They'll probably go right back to him in a bubble screen or something like that. Like, Connor Kinnett rolls around and rush, and he throws this weak pass. and. Incomplete, out of bounds. He takes a hit, and I guess they got the flag for the hit that he took. Roughing the passer against Northwest Knights. What? That is, like I said, these officials, they have to take their emotion out of the game. There was no way that was rushing the, roughing the passer. See on the infusible Asian grill and sushi instant replay that they didn't look like it was much of a call there. And you see the chain gang getting down the field. No. 
That's that a was, terrible call. I'll tell you. Terrible call. So it's 9 on 9 left to go in the half. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's Knit with the ball, and he got another flag. He shoots street tackled by number 15 there for the Knights. Wow. Julian Cornwall. So they get that. that Go ahead, Mitch. I, I guess he didn't take the motions. That's a makeup call right there, Jake. That that flag came out way before the play was over. Okay, so the makeup call is what five yard? Ten yard penalty for holding. Okay. Well, we see the Knights bench. Everybody's up and into this game. Ten seven score here. Got trips close to us, Jake, right here. Looking to throw over the middle. This ball's caught by number fifteen this time. CJ Dunn with that catch. Well, he didn't hold on to it. Incomplete. See wow. on the replay here that ball hit his hands. He made a football move. Oh, that's a catch. Then it should be. Wow. Wow. Is this Christmas? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. On the replay, these officials, uh, this is uh, Ronnie Rocker's crew. This is Ronnie Rocker's last shift here. That, that's a catch right there, man. This is Ronnie Rocker's last detail. <laughs> Cadet back there, he's got oh, rushed. He lost the it down. He lost the ball, that's right. And who he got on that ball? Oh, he's calling an incomplete pass. Oh my goodness. Israel Julius is on that ball, and that would have been a big senior night thing for him. Let's see on the replay here. No, and that's, that's a, a fumble. fumble. That ball slipped out of his hands, and uh, wow. <laughs> It's a, good, it's a good thing we don't have instant replay in high school football, Jake. Really? Because I that. just seen three of the worst calls I've ever seen in high school football. I'll tell you, that wasn't there. You know. Wow. Tom Brady would have been proud of that call. Wow. What is that? Really? That hit off his helmet before his arm came forward. The night defense is gonna have to stand in the gap to make up for that poor call. This man fires and throws number 15 all by himself, and he's hit and disconnected from that football, and there's no flags on the field. I thought the Northwest defender got there a little early, but hey. No, I thought it was a good D all the way. No, it, 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 he, he was the there a step too soon, as you can see right here. A step too soon, but ain't they been missing call all night? No, that was perfect. So this is going to bring us down to a fourth and twenty, where the Harrison Wildcats are going to have to kick this ball. This is where the Knights are going to have to do something here before halftime. Uh, yeah. So that was a bad series all the way around for everybody, Jake. Oh, this ball touches up and takes again a night bounce. And it's rolling up to the off 25 yard line of the Knights, first and 10. <coughs> Excuse me, that's a 35 yard line. That's, that's the way the officials have been going on tonight. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are next. <laughs> it's getting real close to Halloween. So, DeMond Cherry under center here. See what he's got up his sleeve here. Cherry 
keep it itself. I'm telling you, the Knights are getting to the point where they're bound to end up getting sloppy with this ball. Yeah, and 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 and, and one of the things they uh, have to do is try to get uh, the quarterback on the edges right now because that's where he scored his touchdown before. So they need to try to get Cherry on the edges and, and see what his speed can uh, do for him. Well, we've got second and seven coming up here. Cherry under center turns and gives. Deeks around a would-be tackle. We got a flag on the play thrown by the back judge. Excuse me, thrown by the referee. It's going to be holding against the uh, Northwest Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we're giving you extra time at halftime to make sure you get down to the position and the shot. Went up on those ladies and that spirit wear. Number 33 on that carry for the Knights. That's. Uh, Gaheen Cherry. <laughs> it ain't me. You know, with all this stuff going on, Jake, we still got a very good game at 10 to 7. Harrison on Harrison up. That's right. You know, so uh, both teams and dodged a couple of bullets. Clock uh, moving 7:30 left to go in the half. Cherry rolling to his left. It's around the would be tackler, but we got a flag on the play. Jake, I'm, did somebody forget to do laundry? Because there's been a lot of it on the field tonight. Wow. Holy, let's see what we got on this uh, fusible Asian grill and sushi replay here. Jerry. Might be me. It's you, Mitch. I gotta figure out which one. We're inside the eight. We're at the eight. What are we doing? That should be the nine. The nine. The nine. No, thirty-six. Second or thirty-six. So, seven fifteen left to go in the half. This is gonna bring it to a. Second down at 36 here. I don't know how many plays they got in the book for this situation. Let's see, uh, Damon Cherry under center. He kicks a man in the motion. Gives inside. Oh, he cuts through a big gaping hole. Nobody, uh, good block. He would have been, oh my goodness. We had nice a chance. Nice run right there, Jake. Nice run, definitely. But if we had a block thrown on the perimeter. That guy'd still be running. Yeah, but it looked like he should have cut it up a little bit, Jake. He just kept running diagonally. That was good right yeah. there. Nice little run from the freshman. But that was a good hole at the point of ball. Uh... They got a lot of those yards back, yo, Jake. So it's going to be third and 17. This is where now with 6.09 left to go, they have to make sure the Wildcats don't get in any kind of good field position with this time left in the half. Cherry under center. Rolling to his left. He runs inside a would-be tackle. The second guy catches up to him. So they sat Cherry on this play. on the fusible Asian Grill Sushi is a replay. Jerry thought he was going to work his magic on that one, but uh, the Wildcat Defender says uh, not this time. Yeah, and I, and I don't think Cherry has any intention of throwing the football when he drops back, Jake. So uh, Harrison is just pinning their ears back and coming. Almost oh. a bad snap. There's this kick. No hill got this quick high, but this time it takes a wildcat bounce. And it's gonna be down at the uh, Northwest Knight 42 yard line. 508 left to go in the half. That's dangerous clock they left there for the Wildcats. I think the Wildcats are deviating a little bit from their game plan. I mean, the way it looks to me is they should keep feeding this ball to Carl Herring. 
Let's see what they come up with here. On this well, they first got down. trips our way, Jake. Twit, uh, trips left. And then they got the big six foot three quarterback junior back there, Gannett. He's been having a really good basketball football game right now. So Gannett gives the ball on that handoff to Carl Herring. Well, they got good field position right here, Jake. So I'm looking for him to do a lot of mixing up, a lot of little running, a little passing right here. It's like a five yard carry by Harry. No. Looks like we're going to have trips left again right here, Jake. So I look for some kind of bubble screen to come because you got more out here to block while they send in one in motion. Wow. wow. Toss, but uh, Diego Neri's in the backfield on that. Good defense right there from Northwest. You see on the Fusion Bowl Asian Grill and Sushi replay that toss pass, touch pass, and Diego Neri, if he could have just, you know, he did a good job, though. Loss on the play, so he's going to make it third and 11. Wildcats break the huddle over the ball. Kinnett back there waiting for the snap. Man in motion. Kinnett, straight drop, throws over here to the right flat. Flag on the play. This receiver is doing this all for naught. He's going to take this, this big hit from the Northwest defense, and there's going to be a fumble on the play if they say it's one. Oh, they say this one is a fumble. Okay, so the Knights recover this fumble. They'll decline that penalty. So with 3.33 left to go in the half here, we have a score of Harrison Wildcats 10 and the Northwest Knights 7. Let's see, looks like uh, Diego Neri looks like, yeah, Diego Neri come up with that fumble recovery. Big play right there for uh, Northwest. So Northwest offense takes the field. So 3.33 left to go. Gonna have to figure out who wants this ball. They need a big chunk on first down right now, Mitch. Yeah, and it looks like the last possession good had a couple good runs, so they may go back to him. Got him wide open out here in the flat. Oh! This ball's intercepted by the Harrison Wildcats. Yeah, on that type of play, you don't want to put no air up there. You want to throw it directly to the running back coming out of the backfield. He put way too much air up under there and gave the safety a chance to get there. So you see on the replay here where... Yeah, you don't want to throw and lead him right there. You want to go straight to him right there. You don't want to put any air up under the ball. That was great coverage from uh, Julian the Cor junior running cornerback. So back and forth, only set what? Seven seconds expired off the clock and the defense is back out there again. This ball's gonna be on the uh, Wildcat 49 yard line here. So here they are. There's a snap, there's a fake. And the ball's caught in the right flat for about a yard, two yard game at the most. And you gotta take your hat off to Northwest. They playing good defense, Jake. I mean, you look, you think they'd be down by more, but it's only a 10 to seven ball game. That's right, and then, don't wanna talk about the officiating, but you know. Yeah, well, that's another whole nother subject. Okay, so the Wildcats break the huddle. Trips left here. Kinner back there, rolls his shoulders with the pump. Falls off the hands of his intended receiver, incomplete. You know, that was great defense right there for Northwest. They didn't bite on that give and go. So, you know, good, good defense right there. Discipline from the secondary in Northwest. We see Coach Lee Johnson out on the field, almost to the numbers. 
shaking and pumping fist at his defense, imploring him that that was a good play, that we need about three more like that. So, Wildcats like we got, break the huddle. Excuse me, Jake. Look like we got a third and eight, third and nine right here. Big defensive stand right here for Northwest. Kinder, straight drop. He's flushed out of pocket. He's going to get set and hit hard and rudely taken down by the uh, Knight defenders. Yeah, and then right there, the, the, the Knights just pinned the ears back and came up the field, put a nice, nice little pressure right there on the quarterback. He ran right into that sack. Yeah, he wasn't getting around, he wasn't getting around that no, sack. No, he wasn't. So it looks like with 2.14 in the clock moving, the Knights are gonna be looking to return this punt from the Wildcats. Players on their own 25 yard line anticipating this kick. Oh, bad snap, rolled it back. Snap, kick is up, in over in. It's gonna take a neutral bounce and down by the Wildcats on the night 26 yard line. So it's going to be 147 left to go in the half. Uh, let's see what the Knights, excuse me, the Knights, yeah, can come up with. It's in their offense out on the field. You know, this is where they could be lulling the Wildcats to sleep. Again, the Wildcats need this game bad, and, yeah, and they haven't stepped out and taken over yet. No, and uh, like you said, you let a team like Northwest hang around 10-7. This is anybody's ball game so far. Look at this run. He cuts in and out. He's down the field. Looks like he's got a first-down pickup. You know, and this this young freshman right here, good. It's, his last two runs has been really good. So you, you may look like uh, Northwest might give you a dose of goods because he's been getting good positive yards on this run. Bad motion. Uh, Cherry gets oh, around the rush, and he's got room. He's got a first down. He's deep in the Wildcat territory and yeah. run out of bounds on the Wildcat 35-yard line. And that's what they need to do. They need to find some way to get on the perimeter. So they're going to put this ball down at the 37-yard line of the uh, Wildcats. First and 10, 127 left to go in the half. You know, this is what the Knights need. They need to get down here, at least get in the field goal position. Cherry under center. Rolling to his right, looking to throw this ball. He puts his foot down, but there's all kind of Wildcat there, hats there. Good defense right there from Harrison. They got great penetration, penetration from number 72. He came up the field real good. And put nice pressure on uh, Cherry. Daniel Larkins, number 72. Well, we got a conference out here. I mean, this, the, this game, I want to see the, the Knights do well. And always when I come here to the Fred Hunt press box, I want to see the Knights do well. But I don't want to hear that song they like to play when they do well. <laughs> <laughs> Offense back on the field. Yeah, their offense, you know, they, they didn't got a little stagnant. Mitch, don't you know. look at the clock, but it's 118 left to go in the half. And I, and I like I like getting the ball to this young freshman good. Oh, he yeah. didn't have two or three good positive run. Oh, man. They're going to call a hold. Yeah. Ah. Seems like that must be an easy call to make because it's been a plethora of those calls today. 
Yeah, these penalties are what's slowing this game down for both teams. Like uh, Tony in the truck said a while ago, I mean, neither team can claim that they got hurt more than the other. But I think uh, what it is is this guy, Ronnie Rocker's last game, and they want to rock the catch. <laughs> no. no, that's not. <laughs> so here comes Cherry back there. Looking to throw. Now he's going to run. Quarterback draw. They got him wrapped up, though, so. Going to be third down. See on the replay there that Cherry just can't do everything. No, and uh, like I said, he, you know, they got the ball in the right person's hands. Uh, he can make things happen. But I, like I said, I like this little freshman good. They need oh, to get yeah. him a few more touches. He will. I mean, like I said, this guy has got the name. Cherry, this ball's out on the floor, and it looks like this time the Wildcats got it. Ball recovered by the Harrison Wildcats. 17 seconds left to go in the half. Cherry just can't do everything. But I'm with you, Mitch. This guy, number 12, Cam Good, he's about to make his presence known yes, around Northwest Night. Yes, he is, because he's a darn good running back, and, and he's playing hurt. So this guy's on replay. Our replay camera guys are, you know, auditioning for CNN. So 17 seconds. Looks like Kennard's going to try to throw this ball deep and break their back with this time left. This ball's going to be incomplete off the hands of his intended receiver down there in the far corner. Yeah, it looked like he tried to one-handed. If he would have got both hands on there, it would have been a completion at the three-yard line. 8.4 seconds left to go in the half. We see again on this replay where, oh. yeah. Why did he just try to catch your ball? I like don't know. Our fusible Asian grill and sushi instant replay showing us that this guy could have done more to help team. Here's Kennard looking to go again. He's got this drop deep. He's looking to throw. They flush him out. Looks like they could have got a sack on him. That's right. That's number two with the sack. Taj Petway on senior night. So that's going to be the end of the first half here from uh, Fred Hunt Press Box where we have a score of the visiting Harrison Wildcats 10 and your Northwest Knights 7 uh, we'll be back with more. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, Jake. I the, think we might have one more play. Officials are saying something like, uh, we didn't say you could go to your room yet. Oh, my goodness. Ronnie Rockers is no TikTok on this clock. <laughs> Which one of these guys is really right? Okay, Harrison, you know, got another play. And the guy, this guy, Kinder, he could be dangerous anytime he drops back. If they protect him, he's got the arm to get his ball yes, well downfield. Yes, he does. He's got a strong arm. And uh, I imagine Northwest will put everybody back to guard against this Hail Mary. We can see them all spread out down there. They got three down linemen. Israel Julius, you know. It's uh, number 99 down there. Tashawn Horton. Kennard heaves his ball. It's got a little bit too much air on it. The point of it's facing upward. Incomplete. So now it'll be halftime. Here from the Fred Hunt press box, high above the playing surface of Northwest Stadium, we have a score of the Harrison Wildcats 10 and your Northwest Knights 7. 
Wake Cross Community Media will be back with more after halftime. This Wake Cross program is made possible by Fusible Asian Grilled Sushi. Driver Ed Academy, where your safety begins. Anderson Automatic, Heating and Cooling. Malayli's Detail Specialist. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. And Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Making the decision to purchase a new car is an easy one, but deciding on which car to buy and who to buy from can leave you feeling overwhelmed. Simplify your options by choosing Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Since 2014, Joseph Toyota has been named number one in customer satisfaction in the tri-state area. When you make the decision to shop Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati, you won't leave disappointed. It's our goal to have each customer who enters our dealership leave with a smile. Experience it for yourself. Stop into Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati today. Welcome to the second half of the last game of the regular season of the OHSAA football schedule. Now, we do have the postseason. However, this is the last game of the regular season. The first half of this game, we see where the visiting Harrison Wildcats, Mitch, are doing their best to stay on top, knowing if they win there in the playoffs. Well, Jake, like you said, it's anybody's game right now. And, uh, right now, if you let uh, Northwest hang around in, the game, in this game, it can go any way. And, uh, you know, uh, it's 10 to 7. It's anybody's ball game. Um, right now, nobody has uh, established a line of scrimmage. Uh, so, uh, like I said, it can go either way. But in, but in the other scores and the other games around in the greater Cincinnati area, we have Wentwood 14, Moeller 8, Mason 21, something, Fairfield 0, Purcell Marion 9, Roger Bacon 21, Coleraine 49, Lakota West 0, Edgewood 21, and Mount Healthy nothing. So, uh, so. so don't sound like Mount Healthy answered the bell. No, it doesn't seem like they came out ready to play tonight. For senior night, get to see Miss Ruby at the game. She escorted one of the proud seniors out here at the pregame ceremony. It's always good to see Miss Ruby. So we have Noah Hill about to kick this ball off, and get the second half underway, and here we are. High in the ring kick, picked up at the 23. Round right in. Tackled by the Knights special teams. Looks like on about his own 41 yard line where the Wildcats will put it in gear. So it looks like the rain. I can't tell. It looks like it's not raining quite as heavy as it was earlier. Of course, we didn't leave the confines of the Fred Hunt press box during the halftime, so. I really don't know for sure what it's doing out there. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see what Harrison comes out and tries to do. Are they going to try to establish the run game, or are they going to go back to their quick hit uh, passing game? Well, the way it looks to me, this Connor Kennett looks like he wants to throw back, stand back there so deep. So he gives the handoff to number 20 inside. He makes a cut. And uh, Jack Reardon got about four yards on the play. You know, one of the things, you, you can't give Northwest a lot of credit. They've been, their defensive line has played an outstanding game so far. You know, they've really been giving up a whole bunch of yards, uh, but they've been making stops when they need to. Well, the Northwest D-line, like you said, they have been playing. Pretty tough game. As you give the number 20 again, and he's through everybody, and he's got a big first down pickup. This ball is well into Northwest Night territory down on their 42 yard line. Looked like they went right back to the same play they ran before, and he picked up a good 10, 15 yards right here. Diego Neri able to finally shut him down. Yeah, he just gave him a nice little knockdown. He didn't wrap and tackle, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him later on the game without wrapping. Here's a give again. 
guy's got a nice pickup after the first contact. Looks like they're going to try to establish this young running back right here, Reardon, the junior running back. He's with the carry. And looks like uh, Isri Julius made first contact on him. Getting through that line, he slowed him down. So the last three plays has been Reardon right, Reardon up the middle, Reardon up the middle. So we're going to see what they do on this one. Like he's been getting a lot of positive yards. Second and five. There's a give to Reardon again. He looks around and there's nothing there this time. Well, the right, night, the right there, the young running back wasn't patient. The run was set up to go to the left, but for some reason he cut back to the right and he cut back to a lot of traffic. And Isri Julius in there on him. You know, Isri Julius is classic nose guard. Here we come in trips left right here. You got man-to-man -man coverage on the on the opposite side. Hard time gets the uh, Knights to jump offside. You know, Jake, I would like to see that penalty change. Get the defenders an opportunity to get back on sides. I mean, I mean that's the way they do it at the next level. You know, they don't throw the flag if you uh, got an approachment right away. I, I like to see them try to. Uh, get a defender a chance to get back on the side. That's right. I mean, uh, it's too much laundry going in this high school game for some of these infractions that don't add up. There's a give, but they got him stopped in his backfield. But this guy, number 20, Jack Reardon, Looks like he's going to be a workhorse in the second half of this game. Fourth and two right here, Jake. Mano Mano right here. Nine minutes left to go in the third quarter on his fourth and two here. So with this uh, Jack Riddles in the game. Big play right here for Northwest. Kidder. Waiting for the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Get around right in. He's got the balls loose on a fumble, and fumble Northwest Knights are saying it's theirs. No, I don't think so. Looks like he made a fail back on it. Looks like he may have picked up the first down also. Looking at the spot. See on the Fusion Bowl, Asian Grill Sushi is a replay. Looks like a she first goes thing. in there. He tries Ooh. to brush a guy out. That ball is out on the floor. Now, I don't know who recovered it, but that ball was out. Now they're measuring. Looks like he may have made it, Jake. By virtue of fumbling that ball. Shane getting out on the field and stretch the sticks. And they're giving him the first down. Harrison keeps his drive alive. See on the replay here where number 33 for the Knights was able to turn that in. So it's going to be first and 10 on the Knight 32 yard line. 8.24 left to go in the third quarter as the Wildcats break the huddle. Looks like they're coming down the double slot right here, Jake. No snap. Got the ball in his gut. He's still on his feet fighting, but there were too many hats. Looks like Reardon is going to be the workhorse this half. Yeah, something uh, must have happened. To uh, Carl Herring. But Reardon, this guy certainly knows how to get in there and muscle his way around, too. Kenner, straight drop, looking to throw. He's got this ball thrown deep down the Scotty middle. Wide open the and this guy top. drops the ball. He's like. He's waiting. He had that ball right up in there. Closest night defender was uh, number 14, Owen Massey. Wow. 
couldn't throw a better ball right there, Jake. I mean, he put it right in the bread basket. Yeah, that means. <laughs> well, I look for them to come back and try to do the same thing on the other side because it was wide open on that side also. And they gave him plenty of time to throw a nice clean pocket. Oh. Coach Lee Johnson on the night sideline is just livid about that. Timeout. Time Called by Harrison. <laughs> night defense comes to the sideline where the brain trust gets in the huddle with them. And this is where the Knights got to figure out if they, they can stuff this drive and shut this drive down. It's their game to come back. Yes, it is. I mean, they're right there. They're play, they're play away from taking the lead in this football game, Jake. So all they need to do is just play discipline on defense and uh, try to get a stop right here. So, you know, Jake, going through the night, I know there's a couple pass plays that a couple receive, uh, the receivers from Harrison are going to wish they had back right in the bread basket. That's true. I mean, if they somehow make it to where they're playing next week, they can't be letting them lay out like that and expect to win in the playoffs. No, they can't. So here we are, third and seven. Fork in the road and stick a fork in and play. Kenneth back to throw. They're all over him. He gets to a pocket. And he's still on his feet, but they got him down. Yeah, but I believe this is four down territory, Jake. I mean. Oh, sure. It's going to be four down territory. But fourth and long, it's going to still be up to Kenneth to beat him on this play. This is where they'll try that pass to number 15 again. You think, Mitch? Well, I look, I look for them to come some somewhere over the middle. The middle's been wide open for them. So uh, we'll see what happens right here because I tell you, the, the middle's been wide open. I'm surprised they haven't really tried to attack it. Kidder looking to throw. The ball dropped again. So they're going to turn it over on downs. Northwest Knights will take over on offense with 6.39 left to go in the third quarter. Well, even if he would have caught that ball, Jake, he didn't have enough for the first down. So the young quarterback just made a bad decision right there. Anytime it's fourth and whatever, you got to get past the mark. I think uh, Kendrick is starting to not be sure of how much time he's going to have to stand back there. And, and the that's pocket. what happens when you get hit a couple times, you start to thinking about getting rid of that ball awful fast. So here comes the Knights on the field. Big stop right there for Northwest. Jerry with the ball. He runs behind a block from Cam Good, and he's up the street. Looks like he's in the neighborhood of a first down for the Knights. Looks like he may be a yard short, Jake, but a great game, game right there for Cherry. Certainly got a nice block to get him started from Cam Good. Pops a would-be defender, and this is what the Knights need here is a clock-eating drive that they score points on. Yes, they do. They need to put some points up on the board. It's getting... You know, it's still man, halfway through the third quarter. Yeah, they need, need to try to put some points on the board. So they're going to call it second and one. Cherry looks over to Coach Lee Johnson for the call. All they got is chain gang's going to come out and take a closer oh. look at this. Oh, my. I didn't even think he was that close, but, man. Well, Northwest, they've had the same chain gang crew for years. Uh, it's going to be about six inches short. Oh. Is he down there with the Mike Robner? Oh. A little bit short. So it's going to be second down.
Looks like they're gonna be working this chain gang on the second half for this affair. Yeah, I mean, well, you got a couple downs to play with if you want, and if you're Northwest. Why not take a shot down the field where you see them, you got second and inches. So I believe we're just getting this first down made. Start with a fresh set, because again, Northwest is uh, on the verge of getting a little bit too cute with this ball anyway, and uh, we don't need that now. Let's go, guys! It'll be second and basically a foot to go. Fork in the road or stick a fork in them. They need this first down. Yes, they do. Inside, he's got the first down, but begrudgingly given up first down by the Harrison Wildcats. Yeah, he just barely got that play. You know, you really got to take your hat off to uh, this freshman good. He's been playing hurt the whole game, and he's been getting a lot of positive yards. So it's going to be the ball on the uh, night 39-yard line as they break the huddle here. Keep on working, Diego. You know, and I think they really need to give good more touches because every time he touches the ball, has a plus in yardage. He's, uh, Nice hand off to this back, and he's up the street. See on the fusible replay here, the green. Well, I like this little draft going on right now for Northwest. There's a give again to Green, and he's got first down yardage here. And it looks like the uh, Northwest is just going to try to pound the ball up front. They got a nice little drive going right here. Keep going to the well. That's what they need. Because uh, these big plays, uh, you're just giving them time. Yes, I mean, and like I said, it's 10 to 7. It's anyone's ball game. Keep pounding in there. I mean, pound good and Pound the other young running back and give him opportunity to, to put the ball up in there. So Wildcats break the huddle. Excuse me, the Knights break the huddle. <laughs> Under center is Cherry. He gives, runs around a tackle, but he's going to be stiffened up by the remainder of the Harrison defense where he only made about a yard gain. Yeah, I mean, he just got gobbled up by a host of Harrison guys up on the front. That's on uh, number 15, Julian Cornwall. Knights are seeing to it that their seniors get a chance to shine on their senior night here. Second and nine. Ball at midfield. Here we go. Cherry under center. Straight drop. Looking to throw this ball over the middle. This ball is low but incomplete. You know, and I like to see that. You got to mix it up. You got to keep Harrison honest. You know, they're putting seven, eight, eight guys up in the box, so you really got to throw the ball. It's really tough to run when you got eight, nine guys sitting up in the box. That's right. You see on the fusible Asian grill and sushi instant replay, the pass is just a little bit too low. <laughs> Jerry looks over the sideline to see what Coach Lee Johnson sends in there to be ran to break the huddle. Third and long right here. You know, they have been having a lot of success getting Cherry on a perimeter. This is probably four down territory in the context of this game. Cherry back to throw deep. Threw it a little late. receiver incomplete. I think the receiver stopped running. It's gonna be fourth and 10. We see on the replay, that decent protection there. But uh, again, they throw this ball up. Uh, 
He could get intercepted again. If you're not yeah, running. but uh, you know the receiver just stopped running his route. If he would have kept going, he might have had a better chance at that football. I didn't think it was a fake. Wait a minute. It's a good thing there's a flag on that play because oh, false start. <laughs> So it's uh, definitely going to be. Had a cool. nice little play call right there, Jake. I think it would have worked, but unfortunately, a false start. See on the replay here that, yeah, you had people turning back to be certain what the deal was, and man left early here on the end. So it's going to be 4th and 15. Oh. Noah Hill, nice, nice over and kick. Ball's caught and hammered down right there at receiving the ball on his own 20 yard line. This is where if you're Northwest Knights and somebody on defense can step up or they got this ball deep in their end, make a play. Well, I'll tell you, Jake, it's still anybody's game. Uh, Harrison, you know, they need to put points on the board. Northwest hadn't put anything up on the board. It just doesn't seem like the Northwest offense is set up to grind this field, go the distance on a long drive. So this is over where Harrison Wildcats have to be careful. Yes, especially down, you know, down in their own uh, field. There's the give, and he's taking guys with him, and he's running over people. It's going to be a first down for the Wildcats. Yeah, it's okay, uh, Carl, Carl Harry with the ball. He was giving him a rest, and now that he's got fresh legs, you know. Nice little pick up there from Herring. I mean, he didn't really carry the ball much on the last series, but it seemed like, like you said, Jake, he's rested and ready to go. There's Harry again. Takes a stutter step, but uh, Northwest Knight defenders got him stopped there after about a yard or two game. There's something they like on that right side of the line because that's right where they've been running, mostly the second half. So we see the Wildcats as they break the huddle. 250 left to go here in the third quarter. Back to pass, Kinner complete, first down. Ball's gonna be finally tackled about the 47 yard line of the Wildcats. You see on the replay that uh, he got decent protection. Looks like they're double teaming is Julius. You know, that, that was a nice little uh, Right there, you see the young receiver set in the seams and a nice thrown ball by Kinnick. This ball's completely set over the up left nice. Flat. And uh, number 14 can't get away from this defender. You know, that, I thought that play would go for much more because they had the guys over there three on one. But for some reason, uh, somehow Northwest made a good recovery on that play and were, and were able to get over and make a stop. So this is where if you're Harrison, second down and six. 150 left to go in the third quarter. I wonder when they're going to try that pass and get over the middle deep where that guy dropped a while ago. Uh, wait a minute here. False start. <laughs> That's number 15 I just spoke of there. That's C.J. Young. It just seems like uh, Harrison Wildcats Mitchell hanging around for the Northwest Knights if they could just take advantage. Yeah, and Harrison, you know, they can't let Northwest hang around and hang around because, like I said, it's right now it's anybody ball game and it can go any way. Kinder back to throw deep over the middle, and there's a complete. That's C.J. Young on the catch. Well, that's not number, that's number 14 on this catch, uh, Jack. You know, uh, on that play right there, Jake, I was kind of surprised the Northwest defender really didn't try to make a play on the ball because 
he was there in plenty of time. It was just he didn't go after the ball. And he had help where he could have made it t tipped on the ball. He, he was there plenty of time. Should have He should have made a play on the football. Wildcats break the huddle. And this is the break Harris has been looking for. Got this ball on the Northwest 30-yard line. There's Kinnard now. He wants to throw deep again, but they're in on him, and he escapes. He gets his ball. Attention so ground. Incomplete. Coach Lee Johnson is looking for intentional grounding, but uh, it has to be intentional grounding. There wasn't a player in sight when he threw that football. But according to these officials here, I hear that. Uh, well, I think they ready to go home, Jake, because there wasn't a receiver within 10 yards of that ball. But the way it looks, the officials. They're going to do what they're going to do. It's up to the Knights to make their own breaks. Yeah, but I mean, the officials aren't very sharp tonight. Back to throw. Defenders, how'd you get out of that? They got him tackled for a sack. Great pressure right there from Northwest. Taj Petway on the tackle for that senior leadership for the Knights. See on the replay here that he had plenty of time, but it finally broke down. He escapes one man. This is what the night defense is going to have to do as the clock rolls down. 20 point some seconds left to go in the third quarter. Time to get this play off. Kennard sends a man in motion. Trips to the right. He's rolling. Throws back to his left. This ball's caught. Looks like ball. Uh, Great play right there. I've seen that play coming, Jake. It really rolled right, came back to his left. And the linebacker didn't pick up the back coming out the backfield. Which was Carl Harry. You know, they took him off the field for just enough plays for the Knights to forget who he was. Now they got this ball on the Northwest 11-yard line with 2.5 seconds left to go. Here in the third quarter, we see on the replay, you know, they just couldn't get to him in time. The guy wisely held off on the hit that he could have laid on Kinnard. I, I'm not understanding why this clock is not rolling. I don't think he went out of bounds on this play. As you can see right here, he did not go out of bounds. Oh, yes, his foot did go out of bounds. So we see on the replay, this guy's trying to muscle his way. This guy's got a short tail. Diego Neri, with his fine effort, holds this guy back by a short tail while he's waiting for a little help from his friends. So as we find ourselves at the end of the third quarter, we find ourselves with a score of the Harrison Wildcats, 10 and your Northwest Night 7. Well, that was some play on defense by Diego Dario. I mean, if he don't pull that guy's shirt tail, you know, they're down. He's heading into the end zone. But these are the kind of games that Northwest Knights and the Harrison Wildcats, they play these kind of throw the schedule out kind of games. Yes, they do. And you knew it was going to be a nice, close, con contested ball game, Jake. And uh, they didn't steal anybody's ball game right here in Northwest. The backs are against the wall right now. They definitely need a big stop right here. Now, time for the announcement you've been waiting for all night. All grilled items now. Half price at the concession stand. That's right. All grilled Jake, items unfortunately, we got a score to announce. Going into the fourth quarter, Moeller 17, Wynn Woods 14. Moeller 17, Wynn Woods 14. Well, Some uh, Wynn Woods fans don't want to hear right now. It's all right. Game isn't over till it's over. Still plenty of time left to go there. But right now, we got to see that the Northwest Knights can get there. Back rolling. This guy's back, but they're all over him, and there's a sack. Israel Julius, Israel Julius the making the sack there with senior night. Proud Bob here accompanying him on senior night, India. 
Well, I was surprised by that play call right there from Harrison. You know, you get down there, you had two downs to pick up maybe four or five yards. And this is something that can really come back to haunt you. But they do have a pretty good field goal kicker. But, you know, even if they don't score, they could get a field goal. But Northwest still has life. Yes. And like you said earlier in the game, uh, if they hold this to a field goal attempt, it's a win for Northwest. We got a whistle. So it's going to probably be against Harrison. No, timeout, time Northwest. Timeout, Northwest. So Northwest calls timeout. Coach Lee Johnson wants to make sure, knowing that this is the crossroads of the game here. 11-15 left to go in the third quarter. Crowd starting to get a little enthusiasm. You can feel energy and electricity seeping back into the mix here. And also, Jake, on a scoring update, we got LaSalle 10 and Elder 10. Okay. Now, where are they playing this game? In the pit? I'm not for sure. You know, I think the wheels, they kind of fell off for LaSalle a little bit this year. Yeah, they, yeah they're, they're kind of been up and down. Okay, so we got Trick Play City here on this third down here. Kidder with got the ball, wide open. throws the ball, and oh. incomplete. Tipped it. For Harrison, oh, for the Harrison. quarterback did not lead the receiver on this play right here. The defender was able to get a hand up on it. Badly thrown ball. Oh, no, he still had the opportunity to catch the ball. Okay, so we're getting these trick plays. You know, they got their field goal kicker out there now. It's like it's gonna be the neighborhood of a... What do we got here? Uh, 27 yard field goal attempt here. 11-11 11 11 left to go. Bad snap. Ball skips, but he gets it up. And this kick is good. So, with 11.06 left to go in the third quarter here, we got a score of the Harrison Wildcats, 13, and the Northwest Knights, 7. Hey, it's anybody's ball game still. It's still a one, one possession game, Jake. And right there, you got to take your hand off the Northwest. Tremendous defensive stand down there. Yes. You also got to give credit to where uh, the whoever was the holder for that kick for the uh, Wildcats. You're exactly right, because he definitely looked like a shortstop. He looked like David Concepcion. David, that that's what I was going to say, David Concepcion. <laughs> got that ball down, I'm telling you. This is where Northwest Knights need to get a big return with no laundry on the field. West, I mean, excuse me, Harrison Wildcats just don't see like they want to put the foot on their nice throw to get this thing open. Yeah, and every time you think they got their, their foot on, on, on the throat, Northwest comes up with a good defensive stand, but they need to get on this ball. They need to. Skips out of a tackle. Still on his feet. Oh, that's He's trouble. getting up his feet. I run this guy. Just I run this guy. Number nine. Isaiah Loveless with the touchdown for Northwest Knights. No flag, wait, there is a flag on the 45 yard line. Well, we got a sideline warning. Sideline warning, which really shouldn't. Touchdown count. So we see uh, the officials get this thing sorted out. Gonna be a touchdown, and um, 
I know it's going to be a touchdown because of hearing that song. All right, so the Northwest Knights. You see, this is the fork in the road. This ball's picked up. And this guy just reached over top of where he was. Great, great return right there. Okay, so here come the Knights at this point after. They need this point after. High snap. Melody Wilsbach drills the point after, and it's good. So with 10.51 left to go here from the Fred Hunt press box, we have a score of your Northwest Knights 14 and the Harrison Wildcats 13. Big return right there. Loveless took it all the way to the house. That's right. What happened when you get a squib kick like that? Looking like Harrison got out of their lanes and he was able to make a couple guys miss and take it to the house. You see on the fusion bowl. He ducked under one fusion. defender yeah, right there. Yeah, he ducked under and that was neat. And he was off to the races. He's got a blockers in front of him. Diego Neri knocks this guy off his shoes. And then that's it. That's like, it, lovely. <laughs> yeah, like you said, you let them hang around and hang around. Anybody's a play away from taking control of this football game. So now this has got new energy infused in the Northwest Knights. You see big Noah Hill getting ready to address this kickoff. Momentum is definitely on Northwest side right now, Jake. Hill. Steps into this ball and it's going to be picked up on the 18 yard line. He's got some room up in the middle. He's got in the middle, but now he's being scored down at the zone 28. <coughs> See on the replay, this touchdown there, he makes the first two guys miss and they're laying around looking down and he's got enough convoy. He outruns this guy from the back. Uh, this is the way Coach Lee Johnson drew it up in practice, I'm guessing. So here come the uh, Harrison Wildcats over the ball on their own 30-yard line, 10-44. Kenner throws his ball on the right flat. It's complete. He's trying to make guys miss. He runs out of the tackle. you got to wrap up, sir. So he's finally brought down by the rest of the crew. Picked up a good seven or eight yards right on that one, Jake. Nice little quick pass out there to the flat. I don't think uh, Northwest is going to let this guy make a living beating him with passes to the flat like that. They got enough speed on defense to converge on that. And I think uh, Harrison is probably out of trick plays. Whatever they're beating you with is something you already see. You know, you still have plenty of time on the clock right here, Jake. So Harrison's, you know, they don't really have to try to get it all back in this drive. That's true. But they need to demonstrate in this drive that they're going to possess this ball for a while and not just have to punt it back over to the night. Yeah, and you don't want to just go down here and get a field goal because Northwest, you let them hang around and hang around. Again, I want to give hats off to them. Melanie Wilsbach, two for two with extra points tonight. Second one being the big difference in this ball game. Kinner drops straight back, looking to throw. He's Got being flushed. He's going to try to stop and run. Did he? Boom! Israel Julius come over there and uh, said, listen, dude, this is what I do with the Cats that move my senior night. And we'll look at this replay, we see Julius make the long ride, and Duke just kept holding on, and then boom, turn right into it. I mean, I know he's got to be seeing stars off that hit. Yes, he is. And he's holding on to the ball way too long. Yes, way too long. So it's going to bring us to second down and 13 ball on the Wildcat 37. Wow, they got at least eight guys in the box. 
Kay Kittrick's got a bunch out there far side. Somebody get to Kittrick, he's got too much time! And they sack Kittrick once more! Isri Julius is in on that sack, along with a host of his friends. And you gotta get the defensive backs a lot of credit for this cover sack right here. You know, he hadn't really had, he doesn't really have anybody open down the field. That was a pretty play. Third down, 17 clock rolling, 8-10 left to go in the game here. Wildcats break the huddle. There's no need for them to scoreboard watch. If they can find a way to win, they're in. They're blitzing him. He's got this guy wide open in the flat. Here comes Diego Neri. And he's got a host of others to put the stop to him. So bring up fourth and eight. That was a good safe play right there from Harris. You know, like you said, you don't have to really try to get it all on one play or one series. You still got time up, time in the game. Hey, 7.25 left to go in the game. Kick is off, nearly blocked. Gonna be fair caught by the Knights on their own 29 yard line. Would have put it in gear. We're gonna call it the 30. See on the fusible replay, Knights almost got in there blocking. But it's a good thing that they made an executed reception of this punt. Now it's when you run the clock. Yeah, right now Northwest, they have the clock on their side. Offense goes out on the field. I see uh, Cam Good out there. Isaiah Loveless having a heck of a senior night. It's like the seniors are stepping up big tonight. Yes, they are. High so. snap, but he gets the ball down into the gut of the uh, running back, but he's going to be tripped up after only about a two yard gain. Cameron Good on the carry, gave three on the play, second and seven for your Knights. Here come the Knights, breaking the huddle. Yeah, they should try to use every second on this, on the play clock to, to snap the ball. Looks like a wildcat snap. They need to come up with a good play, pick up some yards, move these chains. Long wait, here's the snap. What's the happening here, trick play? Yeah, I don't think they should be trying to get too cute right here, Jake. Right. I mean, get the quarterback up under the center. And, you know, don't try to get too cute here. Yeah, you see on the replay here, you know. You know, they're gonna have to make a good defensive stand if, if they can't have a long sustained drive. That's right, and see, they need to sustain this drive. But now we got third down and seven, 5.55 left to go in the fair. Here come the Knights, under center Cherry. Cherry keeps it himself, but they got him hemmed in and they finally put a stop to Cherry. Both teams with two timeouts. See on the replay here, we're had, uh, just didn't have any place to go on that. No, they uh, they played it really conservative right here, Jake. Uh, can't really blame them. You know, the defense has been playing well the last couple of possessions, so put it all on your defensive hand. So we see Noah Hill back here waiting to snap for this punt. They need to execute a good punt here. Hill. Straight up, good punch. Fair catch and signal. Get out the guy's way so they can try to call a cheap flag. So here's some Wildcats to start this thing up on the old 35 yard line. Great punt right there from Northwest Pine. Yeah, we 
this guy, Noah Hill, has been coming into his own, kissing that ball. As we see on the future boy, real sushi replay, that this guy did good to make a clean reception with four knights standing in his face. Right here, Jake, this is Ken. Who has the ball last? Maybe that's going to be the, the winner of the game, Jake. Well, here comes the night defense. Back to throws Kinner. Balls in the sky's gut complete. This will be about a seven, eight yard pickup. Seven yard game. That was a nice, generous spot from the referee for, uh, for Northwest. Got a second and uh, two. Here come the Knights blitzing. This guy runs in there and he's got close to first down yardage. His Julius comes up shaking his head. No, I don't think so, but it's going to be a first down. First down right here. Now this is this is where the night defense has to make sure they keep everything in front of them too. See what happens. They got three guys down. And no one was ready. He's hit on release, and that ball is incomplete. And on the release of that ball, uh, Mr. Kenner took a hit that he'll be remembering for a while. Wow, that ball just hung up in the air for interception, man. Yeah, well, a lot of his balls, he wow. throws the point of it is facing up. Wow, I was surprised that ball didn't get picked off. Second and 10 right here, Jake. Looks like Northwest is going to stay in a cover, too. So it seems like Harrison's going to have to comes. pick these little seams. This ball is completed. It's going to be looking like a first down. First down is signal. Yeah, and, and that's what Northwest is giving them, the seam routes. And that's what they're going to have to take. you gotta, you got to take what the defense gives you. And they're giving them the, the seam routes and everything in the middle. So the, the, the story is, Will uh, Harrison be patient enough and try to take those seam routes, or would they be greedy and try to go for it all? They have a really good field goal kicker. You know, and Northwest is playing a cover too. So they have the quarterback's young quarterback has to be very patient. Balls. And that's Down what they do. Picked up about 70 yards on that play. And that's what they seem to be doing, uh, hitting the quick little stuff, the stuff in the scenes. See on the replay, they're giving this guy a little bit protection. I think the defense is going to have to bring the house and come get Kenner. Don't let him stand back there and pick him apart. It's a dangerous time right now for a young quarterback, but it, he seems to understand and to see what the coaches want from him. Well, and, 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 and you know, it seems like Northwest has went back to a nickel defense and just letting them. You don't really want to do this, man. You want to keep. You want to bring the house, bring some, get some pressure because they were pressuring him. That's for, right in the third quarter and now you're just going to sit back and just let them pick you apart that's a recipe for disaster i agree kinner rolls his shoulders with the puck fake throws his ball and it's caught down the far sideline and tackled at about the night eight yard line here 233 left to go is there a flag down eight. see on the replay there you know uh, that ball was dropped in on a dime. You have Holding to Northwest. It's going to be first and goal for Harrison. 233. Even though, even though Northwest was in a cover two right there, I was surprised that play got it took off like that because uh, he shouldn't be getting behind the safety. Yeah, he he really bit on that hook and go right there. Now, are they going to try to run the ball and take some time off the clock? Clock rolling. 2.15 left to go in the game. Trips right. 
Looks like he's gonna throw the 50-50 ball in the corner of the end zone here. Well, I'd be surprised if they put the ball in the air right he's here. Running. He's running, he's still on his feet. He's making people miss. And uh, Northwest so defenders are trying for the strip. Looked like, looked like he got down to the one yard line on that. It was a pretty gutsy run right there, Jake. See on the replay here. You know, you see Northwest tackling that football, but they really need to start trying to tackle yep. that ball carry. He had the right idea, but meanwhile, the guy picked up another three yards while he was trying to make that strip. 131 left to go in the game here. See the Northwest cheerleaders, they have a whole host of uh, cheerleaders down there in different, different coats and gear. <laughs> Well, right here, you was just going to see who was going to hold out and call the first timeout. Was it going to be Northwest or Harrison? It looked like Harrison gave in and called the timeout. Now, they only got one left with Northwest still having two. So, you know, you got to kind of preserve some time right here for Northwest so you can get the ball back and have a chance to maybe try to win this ball game if they happen to go on the score. But anything can happen down here, Jake. Fumble, down here. Uh, mishandle down on the goal line, so. There's plenty of fumbles in this game. A lot of Bengals a couple weeks ago, they went in and scored. I don't know if the Steelers let them score on purpose or they went in there and scored. <laughs> you know, the Bengals should have kneeled down a little bit. What difference does it make? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you gotta teach that guy mixing how to do the Lambo leap properly. He couldn't even do the Lambo leap correctly. You know. Okay, so here come the Wildcats. Fork in the road, a stick and fork in a play for both teams in this game. I'm really surprised that they stand in a shotgun on this, Jake, because you risk so much when you, you just need a simple little handling of the ball. And he's, oh, he's got gonna a walk in. He's gonna walk in. So, Harrison Wildcats, no flags on the field. That's single to touchdown. That's uh, number 20 on that play, Jack. Reared, give a good account of himself. Will I go for two here, Jake? They might as well. They might as well. You know, I mean. Because if Northwest scores a touchdown, then they'll lose. Well, they'll be, yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> they can go for two. <laughs> Takes another time out. Northwest, they, they have fought hard. Northwest always fights hard. Seniors, Northwest have given a good account of themselves. Yes, they have, Jake. You got to really take your hat off to Northwest. With it being senior nice, these young men came out here and played a fantastic game. It ain't over yet, but you, like you said, they made a, a great showing here tonight for themselves. Well, this is where Harrison probably has to decide how they want to kick off. Because they, they got like scratch your head on what's the best way to kick this ball off to the Knights because after that last return, they don't need the replay of that to happen. And Harrison going for two. Harrison going for two. We're gonna see a lot of crossing pass patterns right down here, Jake. Kidder under center, no Kidder and shotgun. Man in motion. Kidder's rolling to his right, but there are oh, gets quite, away oh. again. He still gets away, he's still on his feet, but they Didn't got him it. down. Didn't Didn't make it. Unsuccessful. So 120 left in this ball game. We have a score of the Harrison Wildcats, 19 and the Northwest Knights 14. See on the uh, Future Bowl Asian Grill and Sushi. It's the replay that, uh, it's the touchdown here where, you know, that was a good play. It beats that trick play they tried to run earlier in the second half. And I thought uh, Northwest was in a great position to really stop that play because he had the running back 
he, he had a decision to make and he chose to go to the quarterback and that once little false step and left it wide open for the running back. Afterward, the Northwest defense gets on the podium. They don't let this guy score. Oh, this is going to be interesting, though, Mitch. What we'll kind of kick these uh, Wildcats come up with? Well, if anything, right now, it's all about field position. You want to pin Northwest as far as you can. A little squib kick is not going to do you any favors right here. So what you're trying to do is kick it as deep as you can, get get a little field, get good field position for your defense. Oh, oh my God! God. It, didn't go it didn't go. It didn't it's go no ten yards. Oh Lord! Oh my God! Uh, Northwest, uh, excuse me, Harrison. That's a little bit too cute. Like you were just saying, they should just kick that ball down the field. This is where. <laughs> You give the Northwest Knights good field position that they didn't even have to earn. We see on the replay here where, you know, that ball did well to go five yards. Oh, it actually hit it the hit foot. Him. It hit the foot of the kicker. Are you serious? Yeah, it hit his heel. It hit his heel. Wow. Sometimes you just really outthink your own self, Jake. I mean, yep. you, you, you put on the man of a head coach and Right now, it's like whatever happened to uh, three yards in a cloud of dust. You know what I mean? Kick, play field position. Now, you, you put your defense in a bad situation. So, Northwest Knights will start this on their 45-yard line with a minute with 20 two, left to go. With two timeouts left. Cherry fakes the game and keeps it himself. Wildcat defenders are in there on him. He's got about a four yard gain. See on the future Bull Asian Bill Associates and replay. Harrison, I mean, excuse me, Jerry, you know, he's still going to run this ball at some point. Northwest calls timeout. 57.5 seconds left to go. Seems repair. like a lot of confusion going on on the sideline for Northwest. It does. So this is where uh, they need a chunk. They need to get this big pass downfield or somebody's legs can take it there. But they need to gobble up about 30 yards right now. We've uh, been treated to a fine game here. Fred Hunt press box here, high atop the playing field of uh, John Cyworth Field. You know, they take good care of us when we come here to Northwest. Fed us, today they had Jimmy Johns here, the firehouse. About to fall asleep. <laughs> One thing you can't have is confusion on the sidelines. You know, you want the kids to be able to win it on the field, but confusion on the sidelines can hurt a team. There's Cherry under center. They had a waste of time out. Pitches. All of that Cam time Wood runs around a tackle. He's able to get a couple yards, and he's run out of bounds. Oh, Gary Brown on that carry. Well, situations like this, you know, you hate to see that confusion on the sideline, but this is what you practice for. You oh, practice yeah. for these times. This is the kind of game that shows these players will go through the wall for Coach Johnson, and rightfully so. I think they got a lot of talent here. It's going to be sparkling back here. This pass is complete. Oh, short. But he had the ball to catch it. Ball's going to be about a short uh, fourth and one. Fourth Whoa. and one. The clock rolling. The clock is stopped. Timeout. Northwest. They just used their last timeout. The last timeout for the Knights. Uh, it's a little bit too bad about that because if he could have threw that ball where the guy could have had some yards after catch. Which, which one? back 
back to Blue Seas, he's in front of him with his back to us. But the blue hat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerry, they got the whole offensive huddle over there. Coach Johnson come back to the sideline, hands on hips, knowing that this is what he's been training these boys for since back in August. Northwest is in big numbers, but these guys play their heart off for Coach Johnson. Oh, movement. Who was it, defense or offense? Oh, they put it on the offense. I thought both guys moved at the same time. And they blamed it on the offense. Oh, my goodness. This is where pretty much what you see on the replay here, there's the movement. They happened in two different places. One of the offense was on the left side of the line, defense on their left. Okay, so this means Cherry's going to have to take it all on his own. Cherry rolling to his right. Cherry dipping out. Cherry, stay on your feet. Clock running. Cherry. The ball is caught. Number 15, Julian Cornwall. Mike at 27 o'clock, Everett. All right. Great scrambling play right there from Cherry. On his replay, again, Cherry senior, senior leadership keep, keeps his play extended with his feet. And then turns his shoulders and throws that ball. Julian Cornwell makes the grab for his What's senior that? night highlight. They're calling a penalty. Where did they get that from? Did somebody call a timeout without having a timeout? What's going on? What, an intentional ground? What what they calling? Man, what are these refs doing? So he makes the catch. So here come the Knights. 27.3 seconds left to go in the affair. Officials are calling a stop to the action again. Okay, so it's first down. I think the down marker was incorrect. Is it intentional grounding? Yeah, they. Yeah, because I was looking at that clock and it wasn't running, period, for a good well, while. Well, he spiked the ball, but. And they didn't have one. So it's first down 15 for the Knights. 27.3 seconds left to go in the game. Cherry with the ball. He's going to run it for himself. He gets nearly out of tackle. He's got time to get up to this ball. 18 seconds left to go. 14 seconds. Timeout called by the officials. That's the only one who's got one left. Injured player. Actually, that helped Northwest. 11.7 seconds. Cherry spikes it with nine seconds left to go in the affair here. Well. Boy, this is a game. Mitch, before we get out of here, do you know anything further about the Wynn Woods score? Last I looked, Wynn Woods was... Wynton Woods, 21, Moeller, 17. Okay, nine seconds left to go. This is it, Cherry drops straight back, throws his ball over the middle. This ball's caught, but I'm telling you, he put a hit on him, and, and that's going to be it. They're going to have to stop the clock to move to change. 3.2 seconds left to go on the five-yard line. No! Yes, he gets a clock stop. Right, the 1. last point nine play. seconds. 1.9 seconds left to go. This ball is on the five yard line. This is it, folks. Senior Knight, who caught that ball? Because he knew he was going to be taking a hit, and he took it. If they get a delay of game, the game is over. And I know the time is running on the clock. We don't know how much time's on the play clock. 
so they're going to be really close on delay a game. Cherry, you're just going to have to do it. This is Cherry's play. Whatever they do, it's going to depend on they're him. They're going to get He's looking to throw. He's, he's got, they got him run. hitting in. Now he's going to have to throw to somebody. Right. Throw the ball, Cherry. Wobbly pass in the end zone. Here they Incomplete. Oh, it falls incomplete. And it's all over here from Fred Hunt Press Box at the campus of Northwest High School where we have a score of the visiting Harrison Wildcats, 19, and your Northwest Knights, 14 on senior night. They give a good battle. Have a safe ride home back to Harrison. You guys deserve it. You earned it. So for all the hardworking assets of Wake Ross Community Media and my partner, Mitch Mays, this is Jake Williams. So long. Well, the kids put a nice show out here tonight, Jake. I mean, take your hats off to Northwest. program is made possible by Fusible Asian Grill and Sushi, Driver Ed Academy, where your safety begins, Anderson Automatic, Heating and Cooling, Malayli Detail Specialist, CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life, and Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Making the decision to purchase a new car is an easy one, but deciding on which car to buy and who to buy from can leave you feeling overwhelmed. Simplify your options by choosing Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati. Since 2014, Joseph Toyota has been named number one in customer satisfaction in the tri-state area. When you make the decision to shop Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati, you won't leave disappointed. It's our goal to have each customer who enters our dealership leave with a smile. Experience it for yourself. Stop into Joseph Toyota of Cincinnati today.